Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Cancer that flew out? I've got Judgment. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, what is the message Cancer needs to hear for the week? Message for Cancer, thank you. Thank you, that flew out. We have contentment. What is going to make you content, happy? What are you comfortable with? I mean, you know, it feels to do with some kind of judgment here. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, please, angels? What's the message for our lovely Cancerians for the week? Two cards. We have take action and it's up to you okay so i'm going to pull three cards cancer the first card is the issue or challenge as you know by now second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay so what do we have for cancer please angel spirits guides 22nd to the 28th of february 2021 message for cancer thank you Thank you. Five of Wands is in your challenge position. Page of Wands. Advice from Spirit. And then the final card is the Five of Swords. Message for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer? Thank you. 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands. Page of Wands is clarified with the Fool. And the Five of Swords is clarified with the Knight of Cups. I think the neighbour's banging next door, um, Cancer. I think they're doing up their room or something. So uh, sorry if you can hear some banging. We have the Four of Wands. Okay. Okay, Cancer, so there's definitely an energy of there's definitely an energy of making some kind of I mean the judgment call in a sense is a, a call to action, a call to make some kind of judgment this week. Something may happen, it can sometimes be unexpectedly, that calls you to causes you to make some kind of judgment call decision. Now, we have the Four of Wands here, which can be to do with the home family or something that affects your home family. So either way, there's definitely an energy of making some judgment call action here. There is an opportunity to bring contentment back to the situation, either contentment back in the home family, relationship, or something externally that brings contentment, that brings the change that you need. The message is, it's up to you, take action. Again, another call to action message, a need to take action, a need to make some kind of judgment call, 
to do with the situation here. Let's clarify this Five of Wands. What has been the tension about? What has the conflict been about? It's to do with a hope, dream and wish. So for some of you, you know, <laughs> The, the Seven of Cups can be about choices, but it can be to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes. It feels that you want to make some kind of judgment call, some kind of decision here. And we have the Two of Wands, which can be about decisions about your future, how you move forward. And it feels like it's caused some kind of tension in the home. It doesn't, f it feels like something that's affecting a relationship more than about the relationship itself it feels like something has affected this here because again this feeling of some kind of event that suddenly happens something happens that causes some kind of tension and the requirement to make some kind of choice yeah It's almost like you want to make some kind of choice or decision, but it's 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 the conflict is getting in the way of making some kind of choice decision. And it's about something to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes, Cancer. You know, the Seven of Cups is hope, dream, wish. Um, the message is choose wisely with the Seven of Cups. Choose based on your intuition because not all of them offer the equivalent reward so there's definitely an energy of choose wisely make wise choices decisions there's karma involved here actions have consequences so just be careful of that but if it feels in this situation <coughs> oh sorry some kind of tension has been brewing disagreement not being on the same page as somebody and it's to do with moving forward to some kind of hope dream or wish that you have about your future i mean it might well be that you want to move home or um you want to change something about work you know um or business you know or i mean it could be to do with pursuing something that is very much close to your passions and desires <coughs> Because there's definitely an energy in terms of wanting to take the leap of faith, wanting to take the chance of what, of what this Page of Wands offers. And the Page of Wands is about inspiration, something that is inspiring you. It can be to do with some kind of news, to do with an opportunity that's coming your way that's causing tension. Um, something that has great potential, something that you you're curious about and want to give more attention, you want to take action towards it. It feels you want to go in a specific direction here, Cancer, but it's causing tension in the home. The message is, it feels like whatever this opportunity is, it's an opportunity that's too good to miss. Again, hopes, dreams, wishes. And there is, again, this energy of, of conflict, being conflicted. It can be a card of winning the argument, but it can be a card of bad feeling, resentment, bitterness as well, a five of swords, so just be careful of that. I mean, there's definitely an energy of... With a Knight of Cups, which is a message of love, an offer of love, love, um, a degree of charm, a degree of something that's very connected to your imagination as well. I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, the Knight of Cups can be creative opportunities as well, or something that's very close to your heart. But it can also be in... I'm definitely getting in this energy. Somebody is open to the change. You know, it, it feels... It feels with this Five of Swords, there's been conflict, but they don't want the conflict to carry on. 
And there is an opportunity to just move on from that and restore harmony, balance, equilibrium, stability, security to the home. So it feels like you'll come to some kind of agreement here, Cancer. I'm getting the energy that you'll get your way. But again, the 1111 energy is you're being sent blessings, messages, guidance from people from the other side, people that you've lost, the 1111 card. Um, that could be in the form of signs, symbols, messages, uh, dreams, can also be white feathers, birds in the garden, messages or piece of information that you read or social media links. I mean, call it what you will, but you're definitely being guided as well in this energy. And it feels towards, you know... Um, some kind of choice or decision. There's definitely an energy of, of follow your heart, but it, it definitely feels like somebody is willing to accept the change. So let's pull one more piece of advice. It's a very cryptic, <laughs> cryptic reading, but um, obviously it's not meant to resonate with everybody or resonate with someone. It feels like they'll finally accept your point of view. Yeah. Again, it feels compromise is, is, is achieved here. And again, Page of Pentacles, it feels like there's some kind of commercial element to this page of wands page of pentacles finance career opportunity job opportunity something that you really want to manifest something that's connected to your heart and soul energy um sowing the seeds for future growth i mean it can be news or a message or an opportunity that you want to take the leap of faith on you want to take a chance on you want to go for it there's a spontaneity to it but it feels like it's causing some tension in the home, the family. But again, the Six of Pentacles is a card of giving and receiving, respecting each other's points of view, with the Page of Pentacles, you know, being the opportunity. So it feels like the equilibrium is restored. It's a very nice energy. It feels like you're getting the balance back in a relationship here. It's give and take, uh, compromise where it's needed. You know, it's that kind of energy. So, but definitely there is some kind of news to do with Page of Pentacles, opportunity, business, career, finance, jobs. Um, something that you want to put the energy and effort towards. Something that you're curious about, that you see potential with, that you want to take the chance on. <laughs> you know, this could be a hobby, something that you want to manifest, something that you want to go for. This can involve skills development as well, Cancer. So it's definitely connected to your heart and soul, you know? I mean, you could be going in a new direction here. Um, but it definitely feels for some of you that somebody is finally coming around to your way of thinking. Okay. And certainly that's what the future holds. So, yeah, a bit of a rough patch, disagreements. But it feels like you will, there is give and take, someone will come round. And again, there's definitely an energy of an opportunity too good to miss. Um, the message is, it's a call to action to act now. So you don't want to leave it too long. We have shine from within, looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. It's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. And I think that's what this opportunity will allow you to do. Again, it might well be something that you just want to give, a, give you know, give some attention to you want to just go for it and see where it leads because it's very much in line with your heart and soul i hope you enjoyed the reading cancer if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you